I'd love to talk to you about awakening uh, for a second. So uh, if you ever meet anybody who tells you that he or she is enlightened, you should run a mile because that's a sociopath. Uh, if you ask His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, if he was enlightened, he would say, I am a simple Buddhist monk, right? As Gertrude Stein said, there's no there there. There's no permanent state of enlightenment. So I like the word awakening, which is what the word Buddha means, the awakened one, because it's about holding paradoxes and antinomies in your mind and being able to uh, proceed in life, knowing that life is inherently meaningless and you have to play 150%, right? That, that, that's paradoxical. So um, uh, again, enlightenment, I prefer to think of moksha, which is uh, liberation. Um, uh, at your, when you die, you will be liberated from the cycle of samsara. But during this lifetime, again, if you meet anyone who claims to be enlightened, run a mile. That's a fucking psychopath, right? <laughs> but awakening is knowing that uh, everything around here is absurd and fictional, the cement and the buildings and the glass and our political system and money and all the things that we do are absurd and you have to make a difference. You have to make the world a better place. You have to, you have to add value uh, to people's lives and, and, and enrich uh, your fellow human beings, you know? So um, again, I hope that uh, the concept of awakening inspires you to just um, be a better person and live your life to the fullest. So thank you.